What's up, buddy? How you doing? I got a question for you. How do you feel about this crazy lady, Jada Pinkett Smith? I feel like I'm influencing the question by calling her crazy. That's not how I should ask that question. How do you feel about her, though? How do you feel about this horrible succubus of a woman? See, I'm influencing your opinion. Guys, it is no, uh, it is no secret that I am not a fan of this Jada Pinkett Smith. Do I think she's an okay actress? Sure, she's fine. But as a person, she seems nuts in the head. We saw it during the Oscars uh, last year where her husband, Will Smith, seems to have been maybe unduly influenced her, by her to attack another comedian. In the time since that attack, whether than, uh, rather than apologize profusely and retire from the public eye, instead she's kind of tried to make herself out to be the victim while still fighting to maintain this crazy Hollywood empire that, that she's trying to build. And, and frankly, that's that's what I don't like about her is that she seems like a manipulator, an opportunist, that she's constantly trying to uh, make this this huge Hollywood empire happen for her and her family, even though she lacks the talent and the creativity to make anything, frankly, good. I don't I don't understand why she has fans. She's a weirdo. Well, guys, we're going to talk about all the controversy involved in Jada Pinkett Smith's new documentary series. Not really a documentary, and we'll talk about that. But first, I want to talk about my sponsor for this video, Wonder. Now, maybe you're like me, and you see all your friends playing around with these new AI art apps, and you go, Oh, I've got crazy ideas in my head. How do I bring them to life? Wonder is the app that's going to make it happen for you. You can see it right here. You just type in this little prompt, tell it whatever you want, and it's going to spit out gorgeous AI generated artwork that will impress your friends and family. Use the link in the description and you'll get access to a free trial of the premium version, including over 20 art styles, faster generation, unlimited art, and best of all, no advertisements. Tired of your friends always having the freshest anime avatars? Well, with the click of a button, you've got a beautiful bunny girl to take home to mama. Have you and your partner thought about adopting a child from Mexico? Well, fantasize no longer, because this brown baby boy belongs to you. And if your boss is on your back about finishing the big project, let him know you're entertaining your Japanese host family. And it's pizza time. So once again, use the link into my description. You're going to get a free trial of the premium version of the app. It's going to let you play around and make your imagination come to life. I think you're going to like it, and I look forward to seeing what crazy nonsense you guys come up with. Now, let's get back into the video. Here was... The announcement on Netflix, Queen Cleopatra is going to show a side of the infamous royal you haven't seen before. Well, I know what side it's going to show, and some of you may, may already know about this controversy, but let's let's real quick get an idea of what this is. This is a four-part documentary which returns with an intimate portrait of the cunning ruler. Uh, I mean, they give it away right here. With African Queens, a new documentary from executive producer Jada Pinkett Smith, our audiences get to learn about the fearless, captivating lives of queens who are likely not part of their Western academic curriculum. Hi, Scraps. Welcome to the video. Including one of history's most famous, powerful, and misunderstood women, Queen Cleopatra. Okay, so right here, I'm going to stop you. The name of the documentary series is African Queens. And uh, to be clear, there are a number of actual African rulers that will be covered by this documentary. However, Cleopatra was not uh, African in the sense that we use it now, she was Egyptian. Uh, as, as let's be clear, when Jada Pinkett Smith uses the term African, she doesn't mean from Africa. She means of the African race. Okay. As she says, we don't often get to see or hear stories about black queens. So black people who see she's talking about. That's really important for me as well as my daughter, <laughs> again, who says, uh, Jada says she wanted to find stories to inspire her daughter, Willow. Motherfucker, your daughter, Willow, uh, isn't she a multi-platinum selling artist at this point? Does she really need any more inspiration? Is she not inspired enough yet that you got to go and make this documentary? So here's the point. Here's what Egyptian people look like. There you go. That's a, That's an Egyptian person. Maybe a little, a little browner than your typical Caucasian. But if someone said to you, look at these African people, look at these black people, you'd say, I don't, I don't think that's a black person. What are you talking about? It's, it's crazy. Here is, of course, Netflix's uh, belief of what Cleopatra must have looked like. This is Netflix and Jada Pinkett Smith. Okay. 
There was a time long ago. Oh, God, I got to I got to pause it right away. I didn't realize that Jada Pinkett Smith was going to narrate the thing. She's so awful. <laughs> like, why don't you just make the documentary and then hire somebody else to narrate it if you really want to make it? Do you really need everybody to hear your fucking voice, Jada Pinkett Smith? Okay. There's a time long ago. When women ruled with unparalleled power. Oh, okay. As warriors, okay. queens, mothers okay. of nations. Okay. And there is none among them more iconic. Then who? Who? Then Cleopatra. Okay, that's a black lady. That's not an Egyptian lady. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? That's that's my real question. What is what purpose is? Uh, you want to inspire your daughter. I don't buy that at all. That's a marketing tagline. I want to inspire my daughter with tales of powerful black queens. Well, for, no, I don't think that's true. I think you have some weird fixation with race. You want to see your race celebrated, sure. But rather than find actual black figures, uh, historical figures, black queens, uh, you decided to start taking them from other races. If I was an Egyptian person, I think I would be quite upset to see that one of our great, uh, what do you call it, one of our great rulers, one of our great historical figures, now in comes, uh, let's be clear, not just Hollywood, but America, American uh, movie star Jada Pinkett Smith, trying to claim our historical figures. Isn't that offensive? Feels like feels a little racist to just take it away from people. It's like if I went, hey, uh, I want to make a Martin Luther King Jr. movie, and he's a white guy, a famous white guy, Martin Luther King Jr. You'd be like, no, that's our guy. You can't take our guy and make him white. It's, it's very weird what they're doing. Well, let's be clear. Not audiences are not happy about this. Egyptians are not happy about, it. and nobody's happy about this. I don't. I don't know who thought this was a good idea, other than Jada Pinkett Smith and whatever idiot uh, Netflix executive signed off on it. Because we're gonna go look at the Rotten Tomato score, guys. You can't make this up. Ten percent critical score, two percent audience score, and right now this is being reported as the lowest score for any TV show in Rotten Tomatoes history. I don't know. I don't know if I can verify that. I think the previous winner was Santa Incorporated. This was Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman previously held the title. Uh, that, I guess they got rid of the tomato meter. I don't know why, but that was a 4%. They, they managed to get 4% from audiences. Then you come to Queen Cleopatra. Couldn't even get 2%. With 5,000 ratings. Now, as this review notes, some speculate that maybe Cleopatra was a native Egyptian. She, others say she may have been Greek, so she may have had even lighter features. I don't think anybody has ever said that she is African or black. This is, again, something that this crazy psycho woman has invented because I, I think her, the whole world she needs to revolve around her. Every famous figure needs to be black and black women need to be lifted. And I want to lift up black women. I got no problem with that. But when you get to the point where you're reinventing history to, uh, I don't know, try and spotlight your own race. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that a crazy, weird, narcissistic thing to do? Why not just make, why not just celebrate that she's a woman? You're both women. You know, why not celebrate Cleopatra as, as a proud woman from history? Why does she also need to be a black woman in order for you to connect with her and want to tell her story? Well, this has pissed off the Egyptian people so badly that one of them is actually now trying to sue uh, the makers of this documentary. Let me bring up that story. Here we go. Egyptian lawyer sues Netflix over clean Queen Cleopatra. Egyptian lawyer Mahmoud al Samari has filed a case with the public prosecutor to shut down Netflix in Egypt. He wants the whole thing shut down. We're getting rid of all of it. Following the trailer release of Queen Cleopatra, a new documentary showing the historical figure as a black woman. Now, obviously, I don't agree with pulling the whole thing down. I think you have a free speech right. If you want to make a movie about, you know, I don't know. Malcolm X being a, a, a Hispanic guy with a sombrero. I'm not going to stop you on a free speech level. I'm just going to tell you it's a really stupid idea. And you're taking what is a famous black figure and twisting it into something else entirely. Uh, but as he's saying here, 
Netflix does not conform to Islamic and societal values and principles, especially Egyptian ones. I don't know exactly how much uh, legs this will have with the Egyptian courts, but that's how upset people are, is that they're actually trying to sue Netflix for, again, this botched historical portrayal. Guys, I think we're all getting a little tired of these these movie studios and these executives and I don't understand what it is they take a story or a historical figure or whatever else and for no I mean I don't want to say for no reason I think they have a reason whether it's marketing or a belief that they're going to help elevate the racial narrative or they want to be on the right side of history okay uh, but it's a bad reason. It doesn't make sense. And the fans don't connect with it. Not just the fans, but he, th now we're going after historian guys, like guys who care about history. You know, there's a lot of guys who, I mean, YouTube history channels are huge, but those guys want the real facts. Who comes into a documentary and they go, I want you to lie to me. I want you to, I want you to take the basic, you know, structure, but then kind of make some stuff up, change some people's races, change things around. That's not history at that point. This is even more insidious, if you think about it, than these, you know, uh, race swaps we see in fiction. Taking actual history and trying to change history, muddling up, you know, what we have on the books and confusing people and giving them bad information. Uh, as, as I said famously, I think it's racist to black people to try and get them to sign up for a Netflix subscription by telling them, oh, we got a we got a great documentary about a historical black ruler, Cleopatra. You're lying to these people. You're lying to them, telling them this is the African experience. We're going to give you a great African story. It's not an African story. This is all insidious, weird marketing. And again, I don't know who comes up with this. Ultimately, though, I have to put the blame on Jada Pinkett Crazoid, who uh, is nuts in the head. She's a nutty lady. She's got terrible ideas. She makes terrible content. She made her husband insane. <laughs> she turned him into a monster who assaults comedians on stage at the Oscars. And I just, I don't understand what's going on. All I can say is thank God that the audience has spoken. The critics have spoken. And we're saying, oh, we, we, we reject this. We reject this idea. Okay? Don't change history for the sake of entertainment. Nobody wants that to happen. It's a bad precedent. History should be treated seriously. Yes, you can you can make uh, fictional works based on history and stretch the tooth, truth a little bit and play around there. You know, I'm thinking about a lot of what Tarantino does and other stuff like that. Sure, you can play around there. But if you're going to present this as a documentary and tell us this is the real story and you can't even get the race of the characters right, uh, I think that's I think that's insidious. I think that's wrong. I think, I think that's an unethical thing to do. Real quick, I want to remind you guys to check out the sponsor for this video, Wonder. Use the link in my description to get yourself a free trial of the premium version of the app. You're going to have a ton of fun playing around with this thing. I guarantee it. Well, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Are you a fan of a black Cleopatra? Should we just take every historical figure and change their race? Uh, let's make, you know, I don't know. I keep trying to think of other historical figures, and I keep going to a certain guy in World War II, and I go, don't talk about that guy. You're going to get demonetized if you talk about that guy. But let's make him, again, let's make him Asian. Yeah, let's say World War II, uh, the, the Germans were all led by one charismatic Chinese guy named Jitler. Uh, you know, can you know how ridiculous that is? Let's not do it. Here's what I'm going to say. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And, guys, I want you to go to Indiegogo. Uh, you can use the link in the description, or you can go to Indiegogo and type in super killer, all one word. And what you're going to find is a little button that looks like this. And you're going to click that button, and that's going to bring you to my dream project, super killer number one. It is now available on Indiegogo, and we have already raised $34,000. We have 500 plus backers right now. And I thank every one of you. This is a superhero graphic novel that I've been working on for almost two years now. It's finally getting ready to print. And I want you guys to be a part of it. Uh, we've unlocked a ton of stretch goals right now. If you back the book, we've already unlocked six of our trading card stretch goals. So everybody's going to get six trading cards. And we're almost about to unlock number seven if we hit 35,000. So go check it out. There's a ton of bonuses and cool stuff. But this is really just a great, fun, hilarious superhero story. You guys know I'm a funny guy. Go watch the uh, pitch video. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Uh, you, again, you can go to Indiegogo. Check the link in the description. Or you can check it out at superkiller.org. Take care of yourself, guys. Peace and love. And uh, Black Cleopatra. Let's do it. Why, I'm going to make my character black now. Apparently, that's what you do in Hollywood now. 
if I ever get a if I ever get a TV show or a movie out of this, they're gonna make my character black, and uh, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> oh well.